When you are sewing, you will have instructions that tell you how large your seam allowance needs to be or how big your pieces need to be cut out. And a lot of times in sewing, measurements are done in 1 8 increments. What that means is that when you're looking at the one inch space on a ruler, just like right here on this first uh, practice, you'll look at each of these markings. There's between the end of the ruler or the end of the seam gauge right here and the one. If we count, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So those are eight one eighth of an inch increments right there, okay? Now, if you are doing construction, these littler lines, like the 1 16th or 1 over or the 30 seconds, it can be divided up even smaller. But in sewing, typically, the measurement is divided up into 1 8th increments. So for each of these examples, you're first going to look right here and see what the whole number is for your inches. Well, we're starting there, that is a one. So I don't need a whole number, so I'm going to put an X here, and I'll show you what to do on the other ones later. What you'll then do is look at this box right here, okay? So this box ends at the one, two, three eighths mark. So that is my answer. Under how many inches, it is three eighths of an inch. For the next practice, my first thing I need to do is look at this box. Where does it end? It ends between the four and the five. So I'm just gonna make a note that my number is gonna start with a four, and then I'm going to only, I don't need to look at the one eighth increments here, here, or here. I only need to start counting them in this area. So I've got one eighth, two eighths, which is one fourth, three eighths, four eighths, which is one half, five eighths, six eighths, and the box ends at seven eighths, okay? So that's seven eighths, so my answer is four and seven eighths. We'll do a couple more examples here. So this one is going to be an eight, and so I've got one eighth, one fourth, three eighths, one half, five eighths, and six eighths. Well, when I have six eighths, two actually goes into six three times, and two goes into eight four times, so that's gonna be three fourths. So my actual measurement will be eight and three quarter inches. I forgot to label this one, that's four and seven eighths of an inch, okay? So on your exercises that you do, you're gonna start with the practice side first. You will do just as I have done here, and then you have another side after your practice one has been checked that you will do for a grade. That one I won't be checking in class, you'll be turning it in and I'll grade it separately. If you need to see more examples, you can continue watching this video. If you do not need to see any more examples, you may stop watching now. All right, so for this one, this is going to be a 10, and we've got 1 8, a quarter, 3 8, a half, 5 8, and then this one is 6 8 again. Well, we know because we did that previous problem that 6 eighths is actually 3 fourths. So this is going to be 10 and 3 quarter inches. This next one is going to start with a 9. And we've got an eighth, a quarter, 3 eighths, a half, 5 eighths, and 6 eighths again. So we still know 6 eighths is going to be 3 fourths. So this will be 9 and 3 fourths. The next one is going to be a three, and then we've got an eighth, a quarter, three eighths, and a half. So it'll be three and a half inches. The next one is going to be a five, and it's got an eighth, a quarter, three eighths, and a half. 
So that will be five and a half inches. And then this one is, my number right here is a five. Um, so this will be a four. We don't see the four here. Uh, we don't see a four out here, but if this is a the fifth inch mark, we know that this is gonna be four and something because it's not quite to the five inch line. So it's four and, here's an eighth, a quarter, three eighths, and a half. So that is four and a half inches, okay? All right, so those are all the practice ones that I'm gonna work through with you. You will complete your practice side of your handout, have me check it, and then complete the other side for a grade.